Over the weekend, perennial main character Elon Musk became the main character again when he tweeted this message. To address extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation, we've applied the following temporary limits. Verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts per day, unverified accounts to 600 posts per day, new unverified accounts to 300 per day. So what's going on and what does this have to do with artificial intelligence? Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. Today we are talking about the AI data wars. And for this we need to go back to April. In that month, Reddit made news by changing its policies around how third parties could use data from its site. Now what's important to understand is that Reddit is an incredible trove of natural language data. 57 million people every day go to Reddit to engage in conversations around basically every topic you can think of. That has made it a honeypot of data for AI training. Companies like Google, OpenAI, and Microsoft have all used Reddit conversations in the development of their foundation models, and Reddit this year finally said enough is enough. Founder and CEO Steve Huffman said in an interview, The Reddit corpus of data is really valuable, but we don't need to give all of that value to some of the largest companies in the world for free. Now, an important context for Reddit is that this isn't just about them being a little peeved that other big companies got all this information for free, but also that it's preparing for a potential IPO in the next year or so, meaning that it needs to increase its profitability, and so is likely looking at charging for API access as a way to appeal to Wall Street. However, as much as Reddit tried to position this as something that was really about AI training, that didn't stop there from being a huge community backlash. The problem was that although the API changes were nominally meant to stop companies like Google and Meta from scraping the site for data, they had big impacts on many third-party apps which were from smaller developers, and the companies that weren't abusing the API in the way that Reddit was concerned with. In the middle of June then, in protest, more than 8,000 Reddit communities went dark in protest, and that number increased after an internal memo from Steve Huffman was reported on by outlets like The Verge. In that memo, Huffman wrote, There's a lot of noise with this one, among the noisiest we've seen. Please know that our teams are on it, and like all blowups on Reddit, this one will pass as well. He even warned employees about wearing Reddit gear in public, saying, Some folks are really upset, and we don't want you to be the object of their frustrations. Now, coming into this weekend, the community was somewhere between still angry and sad. Wired wrote, The magic of Reddit is gone. As of today, June 30th, 2023, several mobile apps for browsing the platform are closing up shop ahead of a new initiative from Reddit to charge for access to its API. The Wired piece was titled, Reddit won't be the same, neither will the internet. It's the latest front in the labor battle between algorithms and the humans who feed them. The piece writes, If all of this sounds like a lot of fretting over something as wonky as an API change, it's not. It's indicative of a growing new awareness of what constitutes labor on the internet and how communities can have their work mined for money-making ventures, specifically ones powered by artificial intelligence. If all of this is starting to sound like a labor movement, that's because it is. AI's rise has caused a reevaluation of what people put on the internet. Artists who feel their work was scraped by AI without credit or compensation are seeking recourse. Fan fiction writers who shared their work freely to entertain fellow fans now find their niche sex tropes on AI-assisted writing tools. Hollywood screenwriters are currently on strike to make sure AI systems aren't enlisted to do their work for them. And this brings us back then to this weekend and Elon Musk announcing that there would be new limits to how many posts people could read on the site each day. Elon was clearly trying to position it in a similar way as having to do with AI. That's why he wrote to address extreme levels of data scraping. Now, this isn't the first time Elon has made hay when it comes to AI data. In April, right around the time that Reddit announced its new API changes, he actually threatened to sue Microsoft over Twitter data in one of his errant tweets, saying they trained illegally using Twitter data. Lawsuit time. That was in response to Microsoft announcing that they had dropped Twitter from its advertising platform because they refused to pay Twitter's API fees. When someone asked Elon if he had a long-term plan here, Elon wrote, I'm open to ideas, but ripping off the Twitter database, demonetizing it, and then selling our data to others isn't a winning solution. Elon continued to explain this issue as relating to AI. In a separate tweet, he wrote, Drastic and immediate action was necessary due to extreme levels of data scraping. Almost every company doing AI, from startups to some of the biggest corporations on Earth, was scraping vast amounts of data. It's rather galling to have to bring large numbers of servers online on an emergency basis just to facilitate some AI startups' outrageous valuation. Now, when it comes to the specific numbers, Elon did make some changes pretty soon. From that initial 6,000 number, he increased it to 8,000 tweets for verified users and 800 for unverified, and then increased it to 10K for verified users and 1,000 for unverified users. Investor Adam Cochran wrote, slowly he's caving. 
Probably in the next 12 hours, he says, oh, we magically solved scraping problem and turned off caps once he finally gets it through its head that this is dumb. Now, there are a lot of different discussions that this has brought up. For some, it has put a fine point on the need for Web3. Alex Valaitis writes, AI, centralizing technology versus Web3, decentralizing technology. After OpenAI, it's become clear that no company wants to let their data be scraped for free. This is leading many large platforms like Twitter and Reddit to start putting up walled gardens. In the future, the most popular LLMs will be built by companies who have the most training data available. If we continue down this path, the only companies that will be able to gather and afford enough data will be big tech monopolies. AI becomes stronger the more centralized it gets, which is exactly why we need Web3 as a counterweight. Think of public blockchains as the last bastion of the open internet. These are permissionless databases that anyone can access regardless of whether you are a tech monopoly or an indie hacker. Far into the future, these public blockchains won't be viewed as silly speculative bubbles. Instead, they will be the digital versions of the Library of Alexandria. Now, whether that's right or wrong, the discussion is certainly increasing. And it's a discussion that's not just about business model, but as you've seen in so many of these articles and tweets about values and what we want the fundamentals of the internet to feel like. I'm not sure how it all plays out, but I do know that the AI data wars have just opened up a major new front, and it feels much more like the beginning than a conclusion. Anyways, guys, we'll wrap there. This is a situation that we'll obviously keep track of. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor. Go check out the podcast version of the show. You can find a link to it at breakdown.network. And for those of you who are already subscribed to the podcast, thanks so much. Until next time, guys. Peace.